Yo, yo, yo. Uh, what's up? As I was saying about the cases, guys. Great, great. All the cases are nice. Artistic shit. You're an artist, and so am I. Um, the reason you're an artist is because you listen to music at least. You understand music. Which means that there is art that you have selected personally that you like. That means that you have taste for art. Some people don't like music. Or even like pictures. Some people are really bored. It's sad. But you know what I'm trying to say? Um, the fact that you are enjoying this is great. There are a lot of people who actually enjoy art also. And I'm one of those people. And I know that the fact that you're watching this uh, denotes to me that you're one of those people too. Let's get back to the story that I was trying to tell you. About the artistic journey. And how it develops and grows as you go. So I told you. I went up um, did some varsity shit. Um, there was a guy. <laughs> I, um, Satya stole the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, he's, he's a writer. He writes like um, stories and shit. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, very cool. It's engaging. Like, not engaging. Um, how can I say? You will engage with the content. It's really nice. So that's the guy I used to roll around a lot. Like he was part of the the group. Uh, both ones, both groups. Like, you know, you, you chill with Salt and them, you also chill with uh, um, One Small Ride and then, right? That was pretty dope because then there's like some continuity, you know what I mean? When you do like shit with um, completely different people, and also I also took him along with a lot of other runarounds and excursions, party guy, you understand? Because that continuity means that if I forget something and he was there, maybe he'll remember it and be like, hey, hey, hey. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm trying to say. It's really pretty cool to do that, to, to do it like that. And when you do it like that, it sounds like it's insane to have such a, a large group of people that you hang out with, but most people hang out with a lot of people. Like if you think about yourself, you'd be really shocked how many people you know but um that way it was easy and so when you hang out with like the bitches and shit he'd, he'd be like oh yeah 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 we hung out with this bitch then if i get confused with some shit on which bitch we hung out with like earlier or something you know so that that shit happens <laughs> but then most of the time we'd just be roaming around doing crazy shit we think about random businesses you know back in the day think about random businesses i'll come to him and be like hey it was one of those guys who'd like actually take shit up. So now I'm talking about the guy in some stories. But that's pretty cool. The guy in some stories. He must come and he must talk to the guy in some story and relax and chill and be fun. Um, if he desires such, maybe. You know, he must hide and shit. But um, with the guy, yeah, we hung out a lot. He also was part of that. So he partook in the artistic um, excursions and shit like that. But he had his own shows and I had my own shows. Like, um, he has his own stuff that he makes because we're different kind of artists. I'm a rapper. He's a writer like of a, you know Scripts and shit. I'd have to be like come an actor in order to You know, work with not saying that I'm not an actor but You know what I mean? So that's why like oh, come on. I, I'm a rapper. I'm out to be a rapper. I was in the mood to rap like fucking rap so that's why I was out and about. And when I went there and learned how to rap, because I've been rapping, learning how to rap every day, it's been a very long journey, even though I'm learning how to rap. I'm not saying that I'm not at a level where I'm very proficient. I am very proficient. Trust me, I'm very proficient, you know, with the raps and all that shit. That's fucking for sure. But what I'm saying is, there's still more to be learned even at a, like a great level of expertise like even the best can still learn not saying that i'm the best but i know i can be you know what i mean it's just a, like kind of matter of time eh? because why i'm putting some efforts into it and you're seeing it and you love it that's why you're here look at this case it's sexy and I like to showcase things that are fucking sick. So that's what I'm trying to say. But at like a, a timed manner. Sometimes I time shit a lot. But not like fucking. So like, like an hour, five, five and a half minutes. Today. In the maybe shower. And then I'll get another girl. Two hours later, maybe you be my lunch chick or something. You know, no, that's not how it's going to be done. 
I mean, it had to be like normally. Yeah. But I do time shit. Meaning that my time is valuable to me. And I hope it's valuable to you too. Because I'm taking some of my valuable time and giving it to you. <laughs> That's artistic, guys. Just simply thinking about the art and talking about your artistic journey. That's how I've been, and that's how it's actually been. I'm rolling. When Satire stole the show, we did a lot of fucking shit, and I will tell you stories about artistic um, excursions and art.